Good evening to you. My day? Put my watch on charger for the next few, few minutes. It's dead. And tell me when 25 minutes is up. So, I've given you three courses on meditation. I realize it's almost infinite. Not really, it's a lot. Uh, like when you do the asana, the physical practice of yoga, they, on triangle, for instance, they say, open your chest to the sky and pull your, put that on a charger and give me 25 minutes. And the, check 25. And open your chest to the sky and lengthen your shoulders. Yeah, fingers to fingers. And they give you so many instructions on triangle. Um, your core, your mulandara up and, you know, there's so many that it becomes empty. When you're in the triangle, you have so many things going on in terms of your memory or how the triangle should be done that it turns to emptiness. There's no thought because you have just a feeling now. You know, your feeling of what a triangle is supposed to feel like because of all the instruction that you practice over the time. Meditation is just like that. You meditate, <clears throat> and they say spine up and in, Mulandara, Jalandara Bandha, the Uddiyana Bandha, Jalandara Bandha. You know, all of this stuff, right? That's the way your spine should feel, and the chakras are spinning, and there's just a whole lot of shit. And there's so much shit to think about, again, that your mind becomes empty. So I'll give you some more shit to think about in this last one. Let's talk about the spine today. Oh, I said that. Mulandara, Uddiyana Bandha, Jalandara Bandha. Just up and, and tuck your chin and have a string pulled from the sacrum to God. That's the, the, the position. Shoulders are back. Put on a silly smile. This is the physical position that most would say was suitable for good meditation. And in the end of all that, it must be very comfortable or it's bullshit. So it must be very comfortable. Um... So today, maybe let's talk about the, the breath, the breath today. The breath is calm, but you've given up on controlling it. <clears throat> Some people meditate wholly on the breath. And then becomes a moment where you'll say, oh shit, I'm not breathing. And it feels like the body is breathing. That you're so still and the breath just feels stuck. Still, it feels as if you're not breathing. But a little bit of breath is coming in. You're not exerting any energy, and so the breath is calm. And the mind is let go of the breath. And again, you may notice, you may notice that the breath is completely still. You can barely tell you're breathing. And if you think about it in that instance, you'll notice it feels like your body is doing the breathing. Another tip. Just be at ease and don't worry about the breath. Don't control it. Now as for the mantra that I've been teaching, rum, rum. There are some who go to Vipassana, especially. Well, everyone. Who, who, there are, most people don't have that mantra, certainly, or a mantra. Those people, many of those people, just sit and they exude patience. And thoughts come and go, as I said. And they don't really do anything. They're just patient. And if you sit and the nervous system becomes calm and the mind becomes still, and the body becomes stone. Where if you want to swallow, it's like a bomb going off in your head. Because you're so still and at ease. Those people, like my ex-girlfriend, uh, Janie, goes up to Vipassana all the time. I said, you gotta meditate yourself into fucking, she meditates for 14 hours a day for 10 straight days. She and many, many friends, pretty much everybody that I hang out with have been to a Vipassana where you sit for 14 hours a day uh, and don't talk to other, the rest of the 10 days. And that's called a Vipassana. She said, does the same thing as ayahuasca or bofu, plant medicine. So I'd rather take the plant medicine for 20 minutes I've never done a Vipassana. Um, I know that people think they have great revelations and everybody benefits, but they just sit without a mantra. They just say, we're gonna sit here and be still 
and we're going to have the same posture I talked about, but we're not going to repeat anything. Let the mind settle because the nervous system is so settled that the mind settles. And this is their deep meditation. So today, let's think about the fact that the breath is absorbed and not breathed. There's no effort in the breath. So sit up and be patient. Expect nothing. Oh, I see friends joining. Well, I know, actually. <laughs> Hannah from yesterday or day before yesterday is joining. Welcome, Hannah. So you sit up. Lengthen the spine. Shoulders back. Tuck your chin a little bit. And see if that feels perfect. We're going to sit. Expect nothing. The mind will go crazy. Notice the mind crazy mind like a monkey in a cage bouncing around so that it realizes it can't get out but let the mind settle on its own as you repeat the mantra rum 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 remember the breath let go of it let it do as it pleases. As your nervous system and mind calm, the breath will calm. And if you're one of those days, maybe you'll turn to stone. So still.
the breath. Barely breathing. Perhaps it feels like there's no breath at all. You're still. Acknowledge the breath. You begin to breathe a little deeper. Slowly inhale. And exhale. When the nervous system is calm, the breath is slow and at ease. Breath is the only consistent thing in the life, in breath. Yogis call it prana. The practices that we have to regulate or manipulate the breath are called pranayama. Pranayama practices are to help us to calm our nervous system or multiple different effects when we manipulate the breath. But just notice the breath and savor it as it comes in and out. you're ready, look at your eyes, take your time. Or don't look at your eyes, it's up to you. Be patient, expect nothing. You don't have to do anything. Just be here now. Practice a bit of gratefulness right here. How lucky we are for the breath, for our health. And for the ability to create happiness for ourselves and others. We are in control. Sometimes it takes a while <clears throat> if we get into a state of samadhi or nirvana or whatever. It, it comes and goes, moments of full presence. 
where you feel at ease and free it takes time. The nervous system has to calm. The right circumstances arise. But we don't have to be fully present or fully awake. We can be more present and more awake. Less noise, less thoughts. Happier. That's life's real uh, experience. More or less happy. Make it your business to be more happy, more grateful. Some of the ways for gratefulness is to give grace away. Give God and the collective humanity your best effort. Be obedient to God and to the scriptures that will make us more happy. Namaste, yogis. Have a beautiful day.